Let's Science is brought to you by the StarQuest Production Network and is made possible by our many generous patrons. If you'd like to support the podcast, please visit sqpn.com slash give. We live in a universe of scientific wonders. Every day, scientists are inching towards breakthroughs which can change our lives. We're playing our small part in sharing these wonders with you. That's why today is a fine day for science. So let's science. All right, Caroline, now this is our, <laughs> our, uh, our you and our younger sister Marilyn and our mother, our dear yes. mum, have gone a little bit bug crazy lately. We have. And I think this might be a bit lockdown induced, but um, mm. er, you've all been um, <laughs> you've all been purchasing insects as pets. Yes. And I think this is actually it's really awesome that, that this is like that you could like um, we have access to this. Yes. And you bought yourself a um, it was a spiny leaf insect, I think it was, yes. which looks really cool. Looks like some yeah. alien creature. Yeah, and totally. Were you holding it on your hand? Is that what you yeah. saw? Yeah. I was holding it so on So we'll hand. have to share that with uh, with everyone on our Facebook yeah, page. Definitely. But um, tell us about um, keeping spiny leaf insects and keeping insects as pets. Okay. So just a bit of background. I was that kid who used to pick up bugs, okay, and my friends would be like, yeah, and run away. So especially <laughs> yeah. praying mantis. Yeah. Yeah, I can yeah. remember Caroline doing yeah. it back in school. Yeah. yeah. Don't you remember? <laughs> we used to run around on the playground and I used to be, yeah. That was that weird so girl. awesome. But we're having okay. to crab things, you know, without getting into trouble. Don't touch yeah. it. It's all dirty. Yeah. It's like, like yeah. now it's like, oh. But yeah. Back in our days, oh, we just touch everything. It's yeah. all yeah. We used to play oh, I'm going to put it in my mouth for a minute, you know. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what does this bug taste like? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway. Which grub? No, it's yeah. ground spaghetti. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. it. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so yes. So then, yes, our sister Marilyn had been talking about wanting to get spiders. I'm not going to get spiders because okay. there's a whole Whoa. way oh. you have to look after them. And yeah, they're kind exactly. Of, it's it's and, hard work. And but, if they escape, they have no chance <laughs> in my house. So yeah. I'm putting that out there. And I think they're too fast when you hold them, they crawl on your arm. And as much <laughs> as I love all creatures, whoa, it will whoa, still freak whoa, me whoa, out whoa, a bit. Whoa, whoa, um, a bit yeah, 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 that every listener just got the heebie jeebies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, sorry yeah, about yeah. that. A bit too graphic. But yeah. anyway, <laughs> but she did show me the website where she was getting the inst the her spiders from. And then I went to the other section. I'm like, oh, look at these. And I was like, I've always been fascinated by the, you know, stick insects and things. And I yeah, saw a spiny yeah. leaf insect, which I have seen in pictures before. I had no idea you could get one as a pet. And I was yeah. like, oh, oh cool. and I, I read oh, wow. how to look after it. And it's yeah. not hard. And she's a little herbivore, which means I don't have to feed her other bugs, which bugs. is perfect. <laughs> Thank goodness. So, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so let's talk about her a little bit. Hey. Yes. <laughs> has, she got, has she got a name? Okay. She does. <laughs> It's a, another one of those combinations where I name her a bit and then the boys add a bit more name ah, onto yes, it. Right. So yeah, yeah. she okay. is called, actually I wanted to call her something else, but this is how she, she's called Leafy the Pile of Leaves. Okay. That's what, <laughs> Okay. when you I ask two okay. young boys under 10 yeah. to name an insect that looks like leaves, that's what you're going to get. Leafy the Pile of Leaves. Yeah, gotcha. So I just call her Leafy. Yeah. Okay. She yeah, does look really leafy. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. Awesome. Mm. Leafy is a spiny leaf insect, called, which is <clears throat> the species Extatosoma tiaratum. Okay. And she is native to Australia. She's a type cool. of stick insect belonging to the group of insects called phasmids. Now, she's going to grow up to about 20 centimeters long. So it's about oh, wow. the span of my hand or so. Yeah, yeah wow. Um, wow. Now, that's the females. The males only grow about 11 centimeters long. Um, oh, gosh, the females are bigger than the males. Oof. They yeah. are. Someone's got to be in charge around here. I know. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and wow. the, the reason why she's called a spiny leaf insect is she literally looks like leaves. Okay? Yes. She, oh, she's yeah. beautiful. She looks like dried yeah. leaves. Yeah. She's yeah. more scary looking than she actually is. She's a very gentle thing. I put her on my hand and she just walks around. She's got used to me pick her up, picking her up. She doesn't run up my arm very quick. She's just very, you know, gentle. Mm, yeah. Um, so the amazing thing about these, because they do look like leaves, they can camouflage themselves really well in vegetation. Yeah. You can walk past and you will not see them. Oh, poor and they thing. Also, oh. Yeah. <laughs> and oh, no. That's oh. it. And they also oh. eat their habitat. Obviously, they're herb mm. herbivorous. So um, so there are other, the, are other stick insects that you're probably more familiar with that do literally look like sticks. Mm. Sticks, yeah. Side note, mum just got one the other day. 
Okay. Yeah, which she names Queenie. <laughs> Queenie. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Cool, 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 cool. And then there are some that also look exactly like green leaves, which I've put myself on the waiting list to get one of these because they look amazing. <gasps> yes, oh, I wow. saw that. That was amazing, yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I think I'll end up with a little collection. But anyway, so they're normally found in northeastern Australia, now found also in my kitchen. Um, <laughs> they, the... Males of the species have wings and can fly, which is another good reason to get the female because if I got one that flew, my cats would be after it in a second. Oh, so no, it's better I if imagine. I just, yeah, yeah, I don't need a winged insect. Um, oh. So the males, the reason why they fly is that they're able to go in search of females, you know, for mating. Mm -hmm. And um, oh. they're not so spiky. Um, they're just, mm. they look a little different. Um, the females don't have wings, as I mentioned. However, um, one talent that the females have is that they can lay eggs without mating with a male. Um, so ah, if there's no whoa. males around, they, yeah, they will make little clones of themselves through a process called parthenogenesis. Um, the eggs take about nine months to hatch. However, if they had eggs through mating with a male, um, it would take only about four months to hatch. So oh, obviously it's, um, yeah, it's a better way to go. Um, go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But anyway, mm -hmm. so, but, Here's some, okay, now we're going to get into the interesting things about this beautiful spiny leaf insect. So um, when she, in the, in the wild, when they lay an egg, she'll just flick it with her butt onto the ground <laughs> and oh, wow. it drops to the forest floor. Uh-oh. Now, outside of the egg contains lipids or fats mm -hmm. and organic compounds which actually attract ants. And the uh -oh. ants think that, these little capsules, they look like little seeds if you look at them. Um, okay. They think that they are food. Now, there's a species of red-headed black ants who particularly like these eggs, and oh. um, they will carry them to their nest. They'll eat the outer edible portion, and then they'll say, okay, we're done with this, and then just take it to the little ant dump, like little wow. rubbish tip, and they'll just leave the eggs there, and then which keeps the eggs safe, so they're inside the little ant place, and um, sit on the waste pile until it um, hatches. Oh, wow. When the little baby um, hatches, it's called a little nymph. Oh, nymph, yep. Here's mm. another amazing fact. They actually resemble the red-headed black ant. Okay. Oh, really? How wow. is that for yeah. Whoa. evolution, natural selection? All Mind that? blown. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Oh. How? So no, not only has it developed to look like leaves, but now the baby actually looks like the ant. So um, this Whoa. is kind of protective measure because it allows them to appear toxic to predators. So predators mm. will leave them alone. They'll say, that's not the kind of ant we eat, so don't mm -hmm. eat it. Um, okay. And then they're able to make their way up the tree. If you see video of it, it does look like a little ant as it walks. Um, oh. And then it grows to its adult side, size up in the tree. Another protective measure they have, and I've seen this with my little lady, is that she the tail curls up and it looks like a scorpion. So she mm. looks like she's dangerous, yeah. but she's not. And then also um, another measure... For, of protection that I've uh, that I read about, which thankfully I haven't experienced, which I hope this means she's happy, is that <laughs> um, they can emit an odor, which uh, which oh. doesn't sound too bad. It can either smell like peanut butter, toffee, or vinegar. Oh, um, oh. <laughs> yeah, and that deters predators away. So that she'll just yeah. go. She'll make this, and then it'll go away. Cool. Um, Not me. If it smelled like peanut butter, I'd be feeling hungry. <laughs> Snack. Oh. Yeah, totally. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Another cool thing which I have witnessed now um, is that as they grow, they molt their exoskeleton and um, as they expand in size. So what happened is um, I went to have a look at my little leafy and she was hanging down from a branch. I thought, oh, my goodness, what's, what's going on? She was just still. And then I noticed at the top there was this, there, her skin had like come off. So oh. she'd obviously oh. been growing. And so she was molting. And, oh, um, cool. Yeah, so she, she's going to take about, she's only young, so she's going to take about six months to grow and she's yeah. going to molt about six times till she reaches her adult size. 
And then once they're fully grown, they just spend their time blending into the environment, eating, making eggs, you know, just being so a cool. spiny leaf insect and live for about 12 months. So, cool. um, okay. yeah, I just thought oh, I it. had to share that with everybody. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if anyone who's listening has an insect pet or has children that have insect pets. Yeah. I mean, you know, like there are kids that have ant farms and yeah. all kinds of other awesome things. That's really cool. And, you know, it's been so educational, just not just for me and my biology side, but also for my children, you know, um, I've been holding it in front of them and teaching them about her and like she's a completely, you know, obviously not a common insect we see around the place. So it's really, well, she's it's really interesting. That is true. Um, and also I think kids, uh, well, people in general have this fear of bugs, fear of insects, which we yeah. don't really need to have. So yeah. it's another way of connecting ourselves with nature and yep. not being afraid of it, but being with it. So, yeah. yeah. Cool. So, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's awesome. So, yeah. I, I cool. highly Thanks recommend for... her as a pet. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Thanks for sharing that. That's uh, <laughs> it's probably a good way to help people demystify the, their fear of bugs as well, to have these gentle yeah. creatures. That's yeah. true. That's true. And she looks fierce. She's spiky and everything. I mean, yeah. she doesn't feel spiky. She doesn't hurt my hand when I hold her, mm. but she's oh, very gentle. Say, yeah. No. Okay, then. Yep. Very yeah, gentle. Well, Oh, yeah. well, when you guys talk about that, I think of Bugs Life when they get that stick oh, figure. Yeah. <laughs> he, he just, he, guy goes, every time I'm playing a part, I'm always a, a prop. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yes, <laughs> that's yeah. Well, yeah, the stick. Yeah. The stick guy. Yeah. And, oh, no, yeah. it looks, that's awesome, Caroline. It's like, yeah. so she lays eggs without even mating. Yeah. Yeah. Some wow. species Survival can do this. Technique. Some, yeah, yeah. Okay. Some, okay. some different species yeah. are able to reproduce. So, yeah, if there's yeah. none, no male around, they'll just be able to clone themselves, basically, and, and continue the species, keep it going. Yeah. What a typical male, hey? You can just fly around and go, hey, go out. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> different male. Oh, jeez. Yeah. What a player. What a player. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, if, uh, if anyone else who's listening happens to have insect pets, send us your photos. Put them on our Facebook yes. page or, yeah. um, or just at SQPN um, on Twitter, and, and we'd love to share and talk about those as well. Let's Science is brought to you by StarQuest Media and is a fortnightly podcast that brings you the scientific wonders of our universe from a distinctly Catholic point of view. For more from Caroline, Lindsay, and friends, listen to the StarQuest show, Catholics of Oz. Find links from today's show at sqpn.com slash science and find the Catholics of Oz at sqpn.com slash Oz. Be sure to follow the show in Apple Podcasts, Google Play, wherever you can find podcasts or on the SQPN YouTube channel. The generous donations of our patrons at sqpn.com slash give make it possible for us to continue Let's Science and all the shows at StarQuest, which makes our nonprofit mission possible. You can join them by visiting sqpn.com slash give. Join us next time for more scientific wonders. And thank you for listening to Let's Science on StarQuest.